Thanks. A century old crime is making a comeback and it could cost you money the next time you have to put a check in the mail. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us what thieves are doing now and how to avoid it so you don't waste your money. Most of us are aware of the term phishing scam when someone sends you a bogus email claiming to be from your bank or credit card. But there is another type of phishing scam now popping up, and this is the old fashioned type with a hook and string. Patricia Moore shows us what her tenants do when they mail her their monthly rent checks. You put it in and close it up. But several times this year, the landlord says her checks have not arrived after they were mailed at this blue USPS mailbox. Uh, my tenants told me they had brought their rent mail to this particular uh, box and put it in, and uh, that's all they knew. So Patricia talked to the branch manager who informed her someone may have been stealing envelopes out of these boxes. The manager mentioned something called phishing, where people are using some types of contraptions to get mail out of the mailbox. The local postal inspector confirms to us that an investigation is underway and says this century old crime is making a comeback nationwide. We're not going to explain exactly how it's done, but inspectors say thieves go fishing in mailboxes at night. It happens most often at the end of the month when tenants put their rent in the mail. Pat had one money order traced and found that sure enough. With one tenant, we did get the trace back and uh, the money order had been uh, altered and cashed. So she's urging her tenants not to mail checks in the evening at Blue Mailboxes on city streets. Your best bet is to mail checks through the mail slot inside the post office. If you use a blue mailbox, try not to put in a check that's going to sit there all weekend or overnight. That way you stay safe and you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries.